Clemson team, not only did they play fast, but they also played very disciplined, which is obviously tough to defend. I mean, in your mind, what made them so difficult to defend? Just the way the game started, you know. So uh, if you, you give them the shots that we gave them, they got a lot of confidence early. Once they get confidence early, they're, they're going to be tough to stop. 25 points off of turnovers. Of those 16 turnovers, how would you evaluate well, the, li the live ball turnovers you know, that really hurt you. They had 17 fast break points. So those easy buckets, you know, doesn't take much to get them going. And, you know, you know you're playing from a deficit, so it puts a lot of pressure on you. Yeah, you know, like it, Alec and he are interchangeable so that, you know, depending on what, where the matchups are will really determine who handles the ball. But he's – Quick has done a really good job for us. The second quarter, you guys really didn't shoot well or do anything well. But, like, offensively, yeah. was there something that was annoying that you saw? Nah, it just, you know – and again, the three things that you got to do is your defense, you know, your rebounding. Rebounding was good, but the turnovers, you know, that, that really hurt us. So, um, you know, in the, the, they're, they're a terrific team, well balanced. You know, they play tough. Uh, their defense is very good, their offense is very good. Yeah, no, it was just get, you know, they put a lot of pressure on you. You know, uh, overall, you know, we, we didn't play well. So it's on all of us. It's not on any one particular person. So we have to do better. When, when Booker hit some shots where the defense, they were all over him and still hit them, is that like a demoralizing thing? No, like great players are going to have that ability. You, and you have to have the discipline to keep challenging the shot. You got to come back time after time. And, you know, he's a, he's a shot maker. He's, he's a hell of a player, you know. So you don't guard him individually. You have to guard him with your team. I mean, you were going to some new guys like Kevin Knox and... and yeah, the, you know, we're behind. You know, you're just looking for any type of spark that you can get. And so that's what we were looking. We were looking for some energy. I, I didn't, you know, I didn't think our energy was like, like it normally is. What about Atlanta? I mean, it was you go in on a second night back to back. But yeah, that's the league. That's the league, you know. And and you know, sometimes it, like a like we had a, a short break, you know, the the two days, and then you know, Thanksgiving. But that you got to have, you got to keep your edge. That's that's the challenge of the league. And sometimes the schedule's in your favor. Sometimes it's not, you know. And if but you know, every night there could be an excuse. You don't want to do that. You want to be ready to go. That's that's what we have to do. Are they getting it together? I mean, they're, they're also on a winning streak going into. Uh, well, they're they're a good team. I, you, you look at what they did last year, and you look at the players they have. That we're going to have to be ready. Coach, when you say that you've got to keep your edge, if, if you have a locker room full of guys who work as hard as they do, what goes into that? How do you, how do you keep it? Maximum effort and maximum concentration. You have to put the two of those things together. That's what gives you intensity. There's no magic formula to it. There's no shortcuts to this. There's no, you know, this is like if you want to know where intensity comes from, that's where it comes from. That's what it is. And the guys that could do it day after day, those are the most intense guys.